Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shana. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So I am a makeup addict, a makeup lover, whatever you'd like to call me. I cover everything here on my channel from drugstore all the way up to luxury makeup. So if that is something that you think you'd be interested in, make sure you do hit that red subscribe button down below. Also that little bell notification if you want to stay up to date with my content because you guys know and I tell you in every video, I'm not the most freaking uploader, but I am trying. I think I'm getting better though, so that's that's a plus. Also, definitely hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy any of my content. It really does help my channel out. But yeah, without further ado, this video is actually going to be on the new Aurora singles that were released by Luxie Beauty. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Is it Luxie Beauty? I don't, I don't know, but I really wanted to try them. It's L-O-O-X-I. I'll put that on the screen here. Um, they are a small indie brand. I've been really into indie brands. If you've been watching my channel, I've been getting more into them and trying their products. Um, so I did see this on their Instagram page and they're quite affordable. So I decided to pick the bundle up. I have them in this little, um, actually it's a big palette that I purchased off Amazon. I have a smaller one of these with some other shadows, but I just popped them in here. So if you are curious about the new shades, I don't have the previous shades, but I have seven that came out in the new bundle. Uh, this isn't available currently though, but I know they are going to restock. But if you are interested in seeing some swatches um, of the new shades, then just keep watching. Okay, so like I said, we're kind of just going to do swatches today and I'm going to show you the shadows. And I will do some video for you guys with flash as well as without flash of the swatches, but we are gonna do some live swatches just so you can see me actually put them on my arm. Now I will say I do have freckles all over my arms and I always feel like my swatches don't look as nice as someone else's that doesn't have freckles. So I'm sorry about that. It's my body, you gotta deal with it, but hopefully you can kind of get the idea. And when I do the close-ups, um, it'll look a lot better as well. But I did wanna come on camera and actually swatch these out for you. So I'll give you some info. So basically it was seven brand new Aurora shades. This was already like a collection in their line, but these are just seven new shades that they released. Um, and now they did sell out but like I said, they are going to restock them. It's not limited edition. So just keep an eye on the website or you can follow Luxie Beauty on Instagram. That's probably the best place to find out when they're going to restock. I personally haven't seen anything yet. If I do, I will put it in the description box down below. Always read my description box for any info, links, all that kind of stuff. Um, now these retail, I purchased the full bundle, which was seven shades and it was only $21 US. Not bad at all. Now, if you are in Canada, if any of my Canadians are watching. The shipping is around $13, which it's a little high, but honestly, it's not bad for an indie brand. I know independent brands, shipping is high for them in general, so I don't hold it as much against them as like a bigger brand. Uh, but just be aware, still, it was still pretty affordable for those seven shades. I find generally for like a seven shade bundle, it's like $50 to $100 from a lot of indie brands. And just putting it out there. Um, so I think their price point's really great. Now, if you want to buy individual shades, these shadows only retail for $3, which is really, really inexpensive. Like that's less than purchasing a ColourPop shadow. So I think, I think that's a pretty sweet deal. And I've heard really good things about the brand. So that's why I wanted to try them. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So I, like I said, I put them in this palette. Now I will say um, they didn't take too long to ship to me. They were packaged really, really well, like really secure, big kind of bubble wrap around them. Like nothing would have moved at all inside that package, but still some of the shadows, which is typical of a single shadow, they tend to be kind of more softly pressed from like an indie brand, if that makes sense, like depending on what they're using in the product. Um, so a couple of them did come a little cracked, but I was able to kind of just push them down in the pan and that seemed to work fine. I just had to be careful not to like drop this palette or, you know, like really put it upside down. I think that may actually break the shadows up. So just be aware. Um, they do package them really nicely, which I appreciate. So chances are you will get them to you, but if there is a little bit of damage, it is kind of common sometimes with shadows like this. So I'm not too mad about it and I was able to fix them fine. Like I didn't lose any of the shadows or anything like that because it was packaged so well. But I'm gonna show you the shades I got. So they're all of the shadows. So 
freaking beautiful like do you see the shift on that and you can see that I was able to press them in there pretty good but like this one I'm actually wearing on my lid today but this one also came a little bit broken and this one up here and you can kind of tell I think this one actually did a little bit here but not too much but you can kind of tell just when I put it like that but you can definitely see like the multi-dimensional kind of like shifts in these they're really 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 beautiful Okay, so I'm going to go through each of the shadows and just show you a swatch of them. All right, so the first one is actually going to be the shade Zodiac, I believe. Yes, Zodiac. So I'll put that up to the camera. So hopefully that comes off. There we go. So that is the shade Zodiac. So you can see it has kind of like a purple flip to it. So this is like a swatch of the shade really 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 beautiful so this one really has kind of like a purpley kind of like pinky toned um almost like like deeper pink and purple tone to it it's really really pretty really great shine to it as well and just like a really pretty color i think it has a little bit of blue throughout it as well really pretty multi-dimensional shade i don't mind my elastic i should have probably took that off I'll take that off for like the rest of the shadows so you don't have to look at that. But that's that shade. That's the shade Zodiac. Okay, so the next shade that I'm going to show you is the shade Super Sonic. So it's this shade right here. This is one of the ones that did come a little broke. You can kind of like tell in the pan. But other than that, everything is fine. This one is so, so beautiful. So let me just take a little swatch of that guy. Try not to swatch it too bad because... It is like kicking up a little bit for me just because it was a broken a little bit broken so you can see it's kind of that classic it has almost like a blue kind of brown purpley shift to it really really beautiful right. and that is the actual shade swatched out so that's what it looks like swatched out how freaking pretty is that one this one's one of my favorites I know there's a lot of shades like this, but there's just something unique about this one. I just really, really, really like it. Just for a pop in the lid, so pretty. And again, that one was super sonic. Okay, the next shadow in here is one of my favorites. Just this kind of that like classic kind of like, it has like almost like a rusty tone to it as well with like a burgundy and green shift. It's kind of like a classic one that you see in like multi-dimensional shades. Um, this one is called Dark Side of the Moon. So let's go ahead and put this one up. You can see that it has a little bit of like purpley tones, a little bit of like a rusty tone, a little bit of, I don't know if you can see the green, but there's a little bit slightly of green in there. And I'm gonna take that and I'll just give you a little idea of what the swatch looks like. So that's what the swatch looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put that up here so you guys can see. All right, so hopefully that comes up. So that is that shade. Look at that. It's so pretty. You can wear these alone or top them over other shades, and they look so freaking stunning. Again, this is a $3 shadow. Like, come on. This is better than some high-end brands. So I am, like, super impressed by these, and they last really well. Like I said, that one is called Dark Side of the Moon. Okay, so the next shadow I'm going to pull, I actually have this one on my lid, so we'll see if I can just like zoom you guys in. So I have this one all over my lid. It's such a freaking pretty shade. Isn't that gorgeous? I actually just put a little something in the crease and then just threw this on my lid. It's so pretty. It looks even better like when you're out in the sunshine. It's just absolutely stunning. I just wanted to show you that close up because I am wearing this one. Okay, so that shadow is called Andro Andromedia. I'm not sure how to say that. Okay, so that's the shade that I can't say. <laughs> um, this one, like I said, I do have this on my lid, so it is kind of that like green kind of shift to it. Really, really, really pretty. I'll we'll take a little swatch just so you can see that. I think there's a little bit of like, like a pinky tone to this one as well. Not even like a pinky tone. I don't know how to describe it, but there is another like undertone to that one if you can see it. It looks really pretty. And these sometimes look a little different under the light. Yeah, this definitely has kind of like a green pink flip to it a little bit. It's hard to see, but it is there. 
and it goes almost to like an orange like it just has so many different kind of shifty shades to it i would pull these up but i actually can't find them on the site i don't know if they took them down until they restock them but i'm not finding them i know she did say they weren't limited edition so i'm not sure but i couldn't find them on the site so i was trying to look up descriptions for you guys i'm not always the best at like describing the flip on shadows um I just know they look really pretty but yeah that shade is I'm not gonna say it but you guys seen it uh, really really beautiful and I do have that one on my lid okay so the next one I thought was so pretty this is the shade solstice so this is that shade right there it's kind of like a pinky gold flip it's so so freaking beautiful look at that so I'm just gonna take a swatch of this I'm just rubbing my finger in there and getting the dog hair off my hand because I always have dog hair on me. <laughs> it's the life of dogs. Okay, that is that shade on my finger. Isn't it beautiful? So freaking pretty. Okay, so let's swatch her out. Yeah, this one has like a pinky kind of like gold green flip to it. You can kind of see it when I go like that. Oof. So pretty. I can't wait to wear this one. I haven't worn this one, but I love me a pretty multidimensional pink. So I'm excited for that one. That one is the shade Solstice. All right, guys. So we are down to our last two shades. So this one is called Phone Home. That's an interesting name. So this is the shade right here. This is another kind of like green tone shade. It's a little bit less deep um, than the shade I showed you previously. That was Andromedium. I'm not sure. But yeah, this one's a little bit lighter in tone. That's what that one looks a like. Swatcheroo of this one, just so you guys can see. So that's what that one looks like. It has almost like a blue kind of greeny flip to it. Like I said, it's a little bit lighter. Just a swatch of that one. Okay, so that's the swatch there of that one. You can see that that one definitely has a little bit, even of like almost like purple in it. You can see. Yeah, it has a little bit of like purple and blue. It's a really, really pretty, really beautiful shade. So that is the shade Phone Home, and I really love the name of that. I don't know why. I think it's pretty freaking cool. So we have a blue coming up next, guys. I'm excited for this freaking blue. I don't wear blues often, but I really like, like, if I do wear a blue, I want it to be like poppin', like, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is the shade Alpha, which is like such a good shade name. So, ooh, ooh look at that. I think this one, I haven't worn this yet, but I think this one has like a purple blue shift to it. If I remember correctly when I swatched these, look at that. And this is like makeup porn for me. <laughs> I actually didn't sit out, but I love makeup so much. So, you know, I can't help myself. Okay, so that is that shade right there. Look at that. You can see the flip on that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of purple to it. So it's a kind of like classical blue kind of purple one. It is a lighter blue purple flip though. Like it's not a deep one. It's definitely lighter. You can see that in the camera. So definitely lighter. You can see when I turn it that way, the shift. Oh, so, so pretty and so reflective just like the others. And guys, again, that is the shade Alpha. Okay guys, so that is all of the shades actually swatched out for you. Again, that is what they look like up close and personal. Um, and that is the Aurora, the new seven Auroras released by Luxie Beauty. I am going to go ahead now and insert, though, some swatches for you. The first ones are going to be without flash, just in normal lighting. The next ones are going to be with flash. So let's go ahead and get into that clip. Alright guys, so that is actually going to do it for this video. That is all of the swatches, all of the up-close swatches with flash, without flash. I hope it was informative for you. Honestly, I've been having fun with these shadows I've played with. This is them again, the new shadows from Look See Beauty. At a $3 price point or $21 for the blendle, I think it's great. So definitely keep an eye out on their Instagram for it to be restocked. I know there was a note saying that it was wasn't that it wasn't limited edition, so I think that's awesome. Um, if you're curious in the shadows, I will link everything down below to their site. I don't see it on there, like I said right now, so I'm assuming maybe I'll see it once it restocks. 
I don't know. I, I didn't see them in the Aurora section. So maybe, maybe I just was missing something. If I do find them though, I will link them. Um, I'll also link this palette. I really like these. They're like really inexpensive. I have a smaller version, like a six pan and they're from Amazon and really inexpensive. So if you're looking for just a cheap magnetic kind of cool palette, check out these on Amazon. But yeah, I'm super excited. I got to try it. Look, see beauty. Like I said, they were on my list of indie brands to try and I definitely want to keep trying more indie brands. Let me know what brands you guys are really interested in and I will definitely try to get some products from them and showcase them on my channel because I've been really enjoying playing with like smaller brands makeup. I just find they have more unique things in their line than some of the bigger brands. So yeah, let me definitely know in the comments. Um, let me know that you like the video by hitting that like button. Like I said, it does help me out even if you think it doesn't. But I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.